Hi there, welcome to Onion Skin. This is a feature nugget all about getting started in Toon Boom and using Harmony. And I'm going to show you how to use Harmony within about, oh, about a minute or so. And you can get off and running and start making uh, your first animations. So this is what the interface of Harmony looks like the very first time you open it up. I'm going to show you the bare basics, just a couple of tools that you need in order to get started and making your ideas real, you know, all that kind of stuff. So the first thing I want to direct your attention to is these two buttons down here. Uh, these flip between the two main views that Harmony has. The first is just this working view, the where you'll be drawing and, and all that. Uh, and this one is the render view. This shows what your final product is going to look like once it comes out. You'll notice right now that it is black. This means there is nothing there, not even a background. This is a problem if you're going to be drawing with a black brush or pen stroke or whatever because it means you're not going to be able to see it. Everything's invisible. That's a pain. So the first thing we need to do upon opening this new file is create a background. So we can do that by down in the layers area, press the plus and go to color card. Immediately the screen fills with white. These gray boxes just mean that the white layer is selected. If we click off, we get a white background. And now in render mode, we have, yep. You see what's going on. Uh, most of the time when you create it though, the drawing layer is nested inside that color card. We don't want that. So pick it up and drag it above the color card and let go and you see the two are reorientated next to one another. So our file is set up and now ready to start animating. The two main tools that you wanna be spending your time with, with your first animations is the brush tool and the selection tool. They're pretty easy to get the hang of. The brush tool draws stuff, and the selection tool selects stuff. Once you pick things up, move them about, change their shape, copy paste them, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, the main window you need open, however, is this one. This is tool properties. Go up to windows and to tool properties, and it will appear around in this area here. And it gives you all the main controls that you need for these tools. So particularly under the brush, you get a slider so you can change its size. Down here in the timeline, we can now start drawing. It is set on frame one and we can start making images. Uh, but how do we start animating it and creating the illusion of movement? Move on to frame two. We don't have any point of reference. It's gonna be a lot of guesswork to try and make it move smoothly. So down here is this button. This is called the onion skin. This shows us everything forwards and backwards of where we currently are. And we can create nice smooth animations using this. So there we go. Creating circles just one after another is a good way to, well, just to practice and get yourself off the ground to see what kind of results you can get. You see with the onion skin turned back off again. We've already started animating. How good is that? So these are the only two tools you need to get yourself started. With the brush and a selection tool, you can create masterpieces without the need for any of the other flashy features. Of course, there is a lot to learn and a lot to get to grips with, but it can be a bit overwhelming. So I recommend, if you're new to animating, getting used to just this and practicing with drawing digitally and putting one image after another to see how it moves and place your results in the comments section. I think we'd all love to see what you can create and share those results with one another. When you start to feel a little bit more comfortable, colors become an option as well. You can get to color as well by going to windows, color, and there's only a set amount at first, but you can create all sorts of new colors, no worries. Just press this plus here. It will create a duplicate of whatever you had selected. Double click to open it up and a color picker will appear. You can create all sorts of new colors, whatever you like. So have some fun with your first animations. Can't wait to see what you make. Have some fun and I'll see you in the next one.